Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be unboxing this new printer. It is the Elego Saturn II. 8k resolution 3d printer and i'm super excited because i also got the mercury bundle set which is the wash and cure unit so i'm going to be unboxing showing you what's inside and also my opinions on it so yeah if you're interested in that please stay tuned okay so i did film the first portion of this video yesterday last night but i got way too carried away with this guy back here and just to kind of give you like my first day review it's actually pretty good like it's not that strong of a fan so the air isn't going to be pushed around as heavy as if you had like a uh, air pump and an exhaust pipe but it is going to do something. It is a HEPA filter. I suspect that it's going to be pretty good at capturing some of the odors and some of the toxic particles. So uh, that's definitely a plus. Also within the actual printer, there is a little carbon filter. So I feel like that will help maybe like 2% of the issues or the odors that will uh, emit from the resin. But to be honest, um, I'm not too worried. I'm going to keep it by the window anyway and kind of ventilate the space. So I'm, yeah, normal procedures, but just keep in mind if you are resin printing in your apartment or in your room, please take the proper safety precautions, have your gloves, have your mask, have your everything and just uh, handle with care. As for the wash and cure, we can do that last. It's not too important. Um, primarily, we want to probably focus on the printer anyway. I will find something super detailed to do as like the first print because I really want to show you guys the surface quality of the AK resin because it's so cool. Anyway, got some kitchen scissors. Don't judge me. such a step up from my Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. I still have it, but the LCD is like not doing well. There is a bit of uh, some dead pixels and it's just like not working as well as it should. So I'm super happy that I upgraded because like it was much needed. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat, we see that there's a power line, so I could just prop that out. You can see that depending on where you are in the world, it will have a different power adapter, but I guess we're considered just like the US, North American. So we have that. Nothing too fancy, just your standard cord. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like a really large box. Like this is my forearm. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. So we have our instructions. I literally print every day, so like I really don't need this, but it's good to have. So we have our little sheet here. So I'll tell you a little bit about the tech specs because um, I think this is pretty important when considering a printer. So this is MSLA technology, which is very similar to DLP. It's just another term. Um, its Z accuracy is 0.00125 millimeters. The layer thickness, you can go from 10 microns to 200 microns. So you can kind of choose your layer thickness. And again, mind you, the higher the layer thickness, the faster your print will be. So uh, always keep that in mind. Printing speed, you can go from 30 to 70 millimeters per hour. Not bad, to be honest. And the build volume would be 8.2 inches by 4.85 inches by 9.84 inches in height so this is a fairly large build volume and i think for the price uh, it is quite affordable and the surface quality and the resolution being 8k you really have a wide range of applications that you can actually do with this printer and you're not limited just to the 8k resin you can use castable resin you can use a whole bunch of different kinds i'm really excited to show you guys how it works this one is kind of cool because it has a vent cover at the back so if you do want to hook up an exhaust you do have that option however um i don't really see that as necessary at this point in time another component which i am like so freaking happy about 
is that the power button is in the front. Revolutionary. <laughs> With my Mars 2 Pro, I've always had to like dig my hand at the back and actually try to find the button to turn on and it's just tedious and annoying. So let's get going. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I don't even know how I'm gonna take this out safely, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Flash. Oh. If I dropped this, I'd be so sad right now. Okay. Just to give you like a size comparison, this is the Saturn and this is the Mars 2 Pro. So you can see that it's like quite different in size and the build volume is substantially larger, which is so amazing. I'm really tempted to leave this plastic on because if you saw the condition of the Mars 2 Pro over here, you would know it ain't good. I think some resin printers can definitely relate, but um, this gets so nasty if you don't wear gloves and like take precaution like it just gets so nasty and especially if you have gloves on or if you have resin on your gloves like it's so bad so i'm definitely gonna take very good care of my printer here whenever resin gets on the top i'm gonna like wipe it off right away at least i hope so We have our toolkit, which has like all of the standard stuff in there. We have gloves. We got some extra Allen keys and some extra screws. We'll probably need those tiny little bolts there for the actual resin tank. So when we swap out the uh, FEP sheet, we're gonna need probably these extra screws if we end up misplacing them or whatever you have your standard little scraper here uh, which is great i don't really use these for the fep like if you have a failure on the bottom of the tank these are like a big no-no because they're so sharp for taking stuff off the build platform like this is perfect and this is the carbon filter and what i really love about this is that it does have a usb port so i know that they sell some that are battery powered but like this only runs when the printer is running so that is extra useful the only issue with this is that it doesn't really capture vocs it doesn't really help with much of the off gassing however it does help with some of the odors and i'm happy it's an addition i can't Plane. the only other issue is that i'm not quite sure when i should change it it does have carbon in there which i'll show you now just gonna do that um so i'm just gonna move that top this is the carbon block okay just gonna remove it place it in okay perfect just gonna look like this and uh, we can just place the top in there I don't know if I have to remove this probably has a little fan in there as well which is helpful pop that in and then there's the USB port that you just insert into the printer so there you go that's all there is to it um, it does do some filtration but it's definitely not a solution. I would still recommend getting like a fan or air purifier that's like near you if you are in a very small environment like myself. We have the power block uh, and this is gonna go into the plug. We have our infamous USB stick from Elegoo, the white one. If you have other Elegoo printers, you know that it always comes with this sort of USB stick. I do have a few, uh, which is great. Oh, this is something I have never seen before. If this is for the resin tank, I'm going to be so happy. And I think it is because it's like super tiny. Air masks because uh, Elegu wants to keep us safe. We have our flush cutters as per usual. 
I have such a bad tendency of getting resin all over these things. So I'm gonna really try to make effort to not get them all gloopy and gross. watching the unboxing of the Elegoo Saturn 2. Keep an eye out for part two because I'm going to be showing the results of the printer, some test prints, and also the Mercury bundle set. So if you're interested, please stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time with a new video.